I couldn't picture my life without you. You guys are bored with each other now. You got married too fast. You guys have a lack of intimacy. Um, How many times have you been married? You let yourself go. Hello, maids. It's What's going on? Naka. Guys, this video is sponsored by the like button. Smash like button. And don't if you like that joke. <laughs> Let's get into it. Nobody's laughing. Guys, there's a lot of rumors and stuff like that, and a lot of perceptions about you know married life. So we're gonna bust these myth, these myths, these myths. We're gonna talk about the rumors, guys. We're gonna say if it's true, if it's not true, and you guys can let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This is gonna be a fun video. We're gonna give you our opinions. Let's get into it. Okay. Go! So you got married too fast. I feel like people always ask that, like, not even us, you know, like mm -hmm. other people whenever they get married, they're like, oh, you know, did we get married too fast or this and that. It's always something in your head. Personally, I I've never think, thought about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think we got married too fast. Um, we were in a relationship for three years before we got married. So I think that that was, for me personally, I think it's, it's good enough to know your mm. significant other. If after three years, you're still wondering, like, do I really know that you person? You should know, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I even knew before I even proposed for a while, you know? Like, I feel like really? for me, yeah, like for me, it was the first vacation, like the first trip that we did, yeah. like when we first left for the mm -hmm. winter, I was basically in my head like, this is a make it yes. or break it. Because I was like, basically, I'll see how my love is, you know, if I go tired, if we have a lot of fights and this and that. It was like our first real adventure together. We left the country, we traveled around the world, stuff like that. I was like, this is where I know. And like, in that moment, it didn't take long that I knew that like my, my, like my love grew more. So like, I was at that moment, I was like, okay, like this is it. Like, I knew. And I feel like... I think it depends on everyone, right? Because some people like they like some people want to get married after like five years, six years, seven years, ten years. Some people they want it after one year. Depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Like I never put a limit on it because everyone's different. For me, I don't think it was too fast because I feel like it wasn't almost fast enough. You know, like there was oh, a lot of things shoot, that like me? me after I engage, I want to get married like the next day. After engage, after you propose, after me? I pro yeah, engagement after the engagement. Yeah, okay. Yeah, after I propose. Is that the same thing? Engagement proposal? After the proposal, yeah. I was like, the next day I want to get married. So like, at that time, Damn. It, like, even before the engagement, like even before I proposed, like, yeah. in my head, I had already known for a while. So yeah, for me, it wasn't I had, too bad. I remember I had asked Dominic, oh, how long after being engaged do you think it's the right time to get married? He's like, the same, a couple months? I was like, <laughs> ah, okay. But so. after I proposed, I was ready to go like the next yeah. day. I feel like when I was younger and like before, you know, I really start to date, in my head, I was like, oh, you know, you're gonna date for like five years and get married. But I feel your timeline changes depending on the situation of the, the older person. You get. And also the age, too. I think it might have been different if we were dating and we were like 18 or 20 yeah. or something. So I think like when we started to date, we were already ready. And mm -hmm. like in my head, I think in your head too, it was like, I, don't speak for me <laughs> i think like at that age that we were dating it wasn't dating for fun it was yeah. like dating that like to get married mm -hmm. so if it was anything that was not right or anything that was you know red flags or whatever it would have been dealt with and you know we would have went in separate ways or like whatever like we wouldn't have stayed together if we weren't thinking about getting married but like we went through all the phases me and dominic like the we partying yeah. phases before yeah like even like together, like there was a part where me and Dominic would like would like to drink and party together. Remember if he watched us together, on IG? But like yeah. not at clubs though. Oh no, no, no. no, no. Um, you let yourself go. Ooh. After you're married, I don't I think I let myself a... go every day. I, that applies to me all the time. Like, let myself huh. go. Monday through Friday, I let myself go. It, it's up and down. Yeah, it's me. I keep it spicy keeps it keep it interesting <laughs> i don't think there's like one glove fits all like yeah. one thing fits all like everyone's different like the, I, I know there is kind of like a perception of like a, a, a rumor that like you know sometimes once you get married you like go over yourself and you, I, I think that's the, the, the person. Guy or you got yeah the girl, like you don't have to yeah. try anymore i think that's not necessarily true because like for me i wouldn't have married someone that i thought that like they wouldn't take care of themselves as the time goes by right mm -hmm. like you marry the person that you know you marry the person that you love and like that person, you know who they are. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta cut that, mate. You gotta cut it, yeah, 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 it's <laughs> But I feel like when when you marry someone, you marry the person, like like you, you know who they are. They're not supposed yeah. to like 
overnight change. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and I always told Naka, like, when we're dating and stuff, you, you have to be who you are. And yeah. like, you have to do everything you are gonna do when you're married because mm -hmm. that's who you're marrying. It shouldn't be like, oh, I'm only gonna do this once I'm married. I'm all, yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's the right that? thing because it's like, you're marrying something like the unknown. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it should be, nothing should technically change, right? Because mm -hmm. you've been dating, you've been engaged, stuff like that, and then you get married, right? It's the next step, but yeah. like, I, don't, I think it's every situation is different. Everyone's different, yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. But not for us, like, it's new, it's exciting, mm -hmm. like, you let go, you tighten up, like, I think marriage should be, like, up and down, like, oh, sometimes you can be, like, super dolled up, other times, you know, like, more loose, like, don't be with someone that wants you to be a certain way all the time, because, like, no matter, like, your weight's gonna fluctuate, your looks are gonna fl mm -hmm. fluctuate, nothing is ever going to be steady, that's not how life is meant to be, so be with someone that's going to love and appreciate you the way, if you let go, if you don't, someone that's comfortable to let you know, hey, um, you're slipping up, can you <laughs> get it together, because, Yo, this is the, the person that you're going to be with for the rest of your life. You have to be comfortable having those hard conversations, you know? So just find someone that you can be honest and truly mm. yourself with, is what I would say. I, I think, too, like, if you really love your partner and you love yourself, you want to look good for your partner. Mm -hmm. like, like, let's say that like, we go out and stuff. I still like to, like, dress up and look good, you know, groom myself. Because I want to look good for Naka, you know? Mm -hmm. I want her to be like, damn, that's my man, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So like I was like that before marriage, I'm gonna be like that after marriage, mm -hmm. it's not gonna change. It's never gonna change. And I like to keep in shape, right? So it's like something I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna stop being passionate about it mm -hmm. after like, you Period. know. Period. You don't talk to friends and family as much. For me, I don't think so. We still talk the same. Yeah. With, like my family. I don't know why it would change. I could see like... Maybe I'd, when you have kids. Maybe when you have kids, yeah. but like I could see at the beginning maybe because like you have a lot of things to do, you know, like you're kind of like on the go, like when you're planning the wedding and mm -hmm. stuff. So like during that period maybe, probably when you have kids, but it's not really because you're married, it's just because you're kind of, your time is more limited maybe. Yeah. Or you're kind of like focusing on, on other things, but it doesn't mean just because of that. If anything, like I talk to my, my mom more now that I'm married because we can relate, right? That's true, And yeah. we can talk more That's married true. women married from, life. from one married woman to another. <laughs> All That's right, true, yeah. you guys have a lack of intimacy. Um, you guys, who's that? <laughs> you know, this is the, and, and like that goes with the thing. Like after once you get married, like you stop having sex. Yeah, or it becomes boring. Yeah, I think you know if it wasn't boring before, there's no reason it should be boring yeah. after. It goes back to like like the letting go. Like if you marry someone mm -hmm. and you know who they are, you should know whether they're gonna just give up or whatever. Like it's not gonna yeah. change. Like just because you have the ring or whatever, it's like after you, you were engaged, like you didn't change. You didn't no. like give up or anything. You know. Or before you got the ring, like yeah. Hopefully I, you weren't faking it to get the ring. Yeah, that's what know? I'm saying. Like so. like you should know who you married, mm -hmm. and like at the end of the day, it goes back to your love, right? You love your mm -hmm. husband, you love your wife, so you want to keep making them happy and stuff. Like that right and i think like the intimacy thing that's really dependent like like personal experience i think it, it, how many times have you been married i got no no and talk about us oh okay. personal experience about us and like like it went up you know because like we're oh yeah <laughs> so like i don't know if that's just everyone but like for us it's it's i don't know if it's different it's going up because when i get pregnant it's gonna <laughs> <laughs> we don't see it we don't see it but definitely not yeah. i mean the spark is still there. Yes, it is amazing. <laughs> like, I feel like especially after you get married, it's actually like a little bit more intense because you're like on that like honeymoon high, I guess. Mm -hmm. I actually did feel, do feel that honeymoon effect. You, you know so? what I mean? Like right after, just like, I don't know what it was. It's just like everything was just on cloud nine, like just happy about everything. And it was like, okay, then like, you know, being used to calling you my wife and stuff like that. I feel like that every day, maybe. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I think there was like, a positive change yeah it yeah. was it was very like fun and free i just felt mm. liberated i felt so happy that yeah. it was like i don't know how to explain it but it's very it was hard amazing. to explain it's a good feeling though. yeah if you've been married you know what we're talking about okay Woo! you guys are bored with each other now that you're married bored with each other i think like i say you know who you married guys yeah like if you're dating for a while it can get you know, it can get more stale, more boring, whatever. That's your <gasps> job. Yeah, like if you're in the same routine over and over oh, yeah, again, yeah, yeah. right? So like over time, like you would have experienced that before you got married. Yeah. So to me, you wouldn't have got married 
if you felt like that mm -hmm. you know and like marriage, and you also don't get married for excitement yeah, yeah exactly like, like you don't marry someone because they excite you it has to be more than that like you have to marry someone for more than like oh i love them they excite mm -hmm. me because times are gonna get hard and like every time we ask people what's it like to be married they're like oh it's rough yeah you know, like oh my god what? what do you like, mean like, not for us like it's i feel never like, positive yeah. <laughs> like why and like guys too and like it's like a a bad it's like, like a negative thing yeah and I'm just like, why it like, doesn't what's have to wrong be, with that know? they're like oh yeah it's only the beginning enjoy yeah. it what <laughs> i hope we're never like that like if someone were to ask you what's it like being married i'd be like it's amazing it's just like how we were before we we're dating like there's mm. no, nothing changed from when we were boyfriend and girlfriend to now except our love grew and mm. it's like a more fonder thing you know like yeah, i can't deeper. yeah like yeah. i can't picture my life without you now but i feel like when we're dating yeah i could have pictured my life without you like personally i was very independent and i was like i used to tell you all the time i put no, myself yeah. first yeah i remember yeah. when i feel like it's it's like a switch mm -hmm. it's like at a certain time like you're dating and just it's like it, it switches it switched, and like yeah. at that moment is kind of they don't like the movies and say like oh when you know you know i feel like that switch is, is like that moment yeah. or whatever but everyone's different everyone's you know? different maybe. like like for us definitely not bored i mean we have you and know, hopefully a it lot stays of fun. like that you know we can literally just watch tv stay inside yeah and like have a blast you know yeah. you know a fun fact where we were in quarantine one of the best days of our life oh like, my god me <laughs> and we just have amazing. so much fun together because like we like, stayed home all day we really stay home all day and yeah. like and just have so much fun you know like yeah. just being i think that's also like another fact is like just being together in the presence mm -hmm. is what have like has our best days some of our best days has been almost doing nothing together you know, yeah. yeah and like another thing too like where we live and stuff like that if ever we do feel that feeling of like oh let's let's I'm switch bored. it up or something yeah. then we can go somewhere you know mm -hmm. like there's a lot of places that we can go nearby so we, there's a lot of options and i think that's one thing too right i think it's up to you like in your marriage or with your partner or whatever like if you're bored you want to switch it up like do something it doesn't have to be like a trip something yeah. it can literally be like something different like a picnic at a park like you mm -hmm. don't have to spend money to do something nice to do something mm -hmm. like to have you know like a little a little different me form, and dominic you know? were actually talking about it focus on your relationship and know what you have you know the biggest that's when you're the most happiest yeah when you focus on you and your relationship there's a quote that says um comparison is the thief of joy communicate with your husband boyfriend whatever don't look compare yourself to other people mates mm -hmm. is what i would say that's but Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully we're able to clarify some things. Guys, marriage is an amazing thing, but it also takes work. Don't listen to the naysayers. Oh, we've been mm. married for 35 years. It's been hell. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't know what you've been the, doing. The stigmas, like stuff like that. Like I feel like, and like sometimes there's a perception or whatever, like, oh, when you're married, you gotta work harder because it's like you're married now, you have a ring and like there's no going back. But you should have felt like that before you yeah. got married. You know, like if you had an argument, like a ring shouldn't stop you from leaving or whatever mm -hmm. your, your situation is, right? So you almost gotta be on the same page and be like, extremely strong foundation yeah. before you get married 100%. right so i think if if you don't and sometimes maybe that's when the people who get married too fast and those are the people yeah. who do the things like that right but they feel like once that. you have the foundation it's like the building doesn't fall the foundation Period. is strong Period. thanks for watching Toodaloo. comment subscribe talk to you soon bye